There's just certain areas in America where you're just prideful to be from there. It takes courage to grind like us, to shine like us. Neighborhood. The shoe is an amazing representation of Harlem. Kings and queens, self-expression, influential and unapologetic. We are the heart of the lion. They want to walk like us. They want to talk like us. There's a little bit of Harlem in all of us. People be talking, I don't even hear them. They talk and they talk, but I do not hear shit when I'm near what is up YouTube with your boy Breezy Kicks, the sneaker fiend. Now today we got the LeBron 16 HFR's bright citron colorway. I've also been hearing these are being called Harlem Stage LeBron 16 HFR's. Now before we get into the sneakers though, make sure if you're new to the channel you hit that subscribe button. Hit the little bell down below so you can stay notified of all my videos. Hit the like button if you like the content. It's your boy Breezy Kicks, let's get it. So with the box, we got this special LeBron 16 box. Very bright yellow LeBron 16 bright citron. Plain paper, bam. So the Harlem Fashion Row LeBron 16s in this bright citron colorway. Right out the gate, these things are fire. Super clean, I love the silhouette of the HFRs. Uh, I did want that original colorway, the white one. Now these are very nice too. And I really just like the whole model. I really love this strap. I love how it's a little extra, it's different. It really stands out. But this colorway, you're just going all out and really just going for it. High style, super clean look. So you do have this yellow upper. It kind of gives a reflective look in these lines coming up. It kind of reminds me of like a fish of some sort. Kind of how it has that reflective look as it turns. I think that's pretty dope. You got a Nike swoosh on the inside part of the sneaker and like I said you can kind of see the reflective look it's thrown out there. Very dope. Then in the back you got this line which is my favorite part. I love how the laces run across the teeth of the lion. So with this being a Harlem fashion row sneaker, the whole point of it is pretty much to say Harlem is the heart of the lion. You know, just all the great history behind Harlem and that's kind of what this lion's representing as well as LeBron obviously. And yeah, so I really do like this very detailed in the back. I'm telling you, this part kills it. Now looking more into the upper part of the sneaker tongue section, you got leather running up the tongue and you can see that two right there and on the other shoe, it has a three for 23, LeBron's number. You got these laces running up the side. One thing that is really dope is these are actually like uh, very elastic. You guys can see that going all the way up until you get to this section where it's normal laces and like I said it runs along the back. I thought that was pretty dope. I was kind of curious because I was wondering what these are for right here and how you could lace that up. You know all these little holes for laces. I don't know if there's a different way to lace these up. Just looking at it I could see you can probably get pretty creative and run some laces along here and make a pretty unique look. Something to stand out and be different is always a dope plus. Then you got this strap which is is a very interesting part definitely different something I think either hits or miss with the consumer whoever's buying it they're gonna look at this and it's either really gonna do it for them or they're just out just because of that some people don't like this look they say it looks too feminine but me personally I think it's really dope and I know a lot of people really like it I have seen people unlace this and let it hang out and it, it gives it that sloppy unlaced look that for some reason it's cool I don't know I, I enjoy it I think it looks dope I really like it got this silver buckle with the LeBron crown. The shoe is mainly gray and yellow, but the lining is red. So you got this red fabric in here. 
Looks like a signature in there. There are three different signatures inside the tongue. I'm not 100% sure on whose signatures they are. None of them look like LeBron James signature. So honestly, I'm not sure. If you guys know, comment down below. I'd love to know. But like I was saying, you got the red fabric and then the insole is super dope. I know it's kind of hard to tell, but you got a bunch of stuff in there. It says HFR with a crown and then it's got stuff like loyalty, dignity, courage, and strength. Really dope. I know it's hard for you guys to see that. So I do apologize for that. Very dope ad. I know it is the insole. No one's ever going to see it, but I love extra little touches like that. I just think it's cool. It shows that they went and put time into the sneaker, added little extras to it. And, and for some weird reason, you feel like you're actually getting your money's worth. Now let's talk about this midsole. You got a gray midsole with this like silver, like metallic type paint running along the bottom part of the midsole. You guys can see that air unit that the LeBron 16 has. Then your outsole, it's like this. I don't know, it's kind of translucent. It's not quite white but it's not quite clear. It's like a, like, it's kind of like a gray translucent outsole. You guys can see the LeBron crown up here. Then your LeBron dunking logo on the bottom in this metallic silver. So retail, these are $225. I honestly, like even though 225 is a lot, I'm looking at this shoe in person and I think it's worth it. So people who are real big sneakerheads, you come to love all the extra little details and just extra ads to sneakers. And you're already used to paying like 190 for most shoes. So paying 225 for something you're getting a lot of extra out of, it honestly is really worth it. So looking at this shoe, 225 retail really isn't a bad price at all. I definitely think it's worth it. If you can pick yourself up one for retail, I say give it a go. Very dope shoe. LeBron 16s, I'd say go true to size. So if you're wondering about sizing, uh, go true to size, you should be good. Let me know, what do you guys think of the HFR LeBrons, this colorway and the other one? What do you think? Do you like this yellow? Do you like the model? Uh, are you gonna try and cop now that you've seen this video? Did you cop and if so, did you like the sneaker? Let me know all that good stuff down in the comment section. Again, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Make sure you hit that like button if you like the content. It's your boy Breezy Kicks, we out.